Technique in answering SPM physics exam paper 3, section A, question 1. Learning focus. There are a total of four questions in SPM physics paper 3. Question 1 and question 2 are compulsory questions. You need to answer both of them. Um, question 3 and question 4 are selective questions. You only need to answer one of the questions according to your choice. In this video, I'm going to start discussing the technique in answering questions 1 in this paper, where we will discuss uh, how to determine the variable of the experiment, how to take readings, how to tabulate your data, points that you need to know when drawing a graph, and how to find the relationship between the variables in the experiment. Finding variables. In question one, you will be given some information about an experiment, and then you are asked to answer some questions based on the information given. Usually, the very first sub-questions in this question is finding the variable of the experiment. The questions usually sound like this. For the experiment, describe or identify the manipulated variable, the responding variable, and the fixed variable. Now, most students will have no problems to answer these questions. The manipulated variables are the variable controlled by the experimental. Uh, the responding variable is the outcome of the experiment. It is the variables needed to be measured in the experiment. And the fixed variable or the constants variable is the variable that you must keep it unchanged. And it must be something that can affect the outcome of the experiment. Usually, the manipulated variable and the responding variable can be identified easily from the questions. Let's have a look at these questions. Uh, this is the SPM 2009 Scholar Asrama Pano Trial Exam paper. A student carry out an experiment to study the relationship between the speed of a trolley V and the height of the trolley on the inclined plane from the surface H. At the beginnings of the experiment, the height of the block is started at H equal to 20 cm. The experiment is repeated by varying the values of H to be 30, 40, 50, and 60 cm. Let's have a look at this sentence. The sentence tells us that this is an experiment that studies the relationship between the speed of a trolley V and the height of the trolley. Therefore, from this sentence, we can tell that the two variables are the speed of trolley and the height of the trolley from the surface or from the surface of the inclined plane, okay? Because we study the relationship between these two variables. Therefore, these two must be the manipulated variables and the responding variable. However, how do we know which one is the manipulated variable and which one is the responding variable? Well, the manipulated variable is the variable controlled by the experimental. And these questions told us that the experimental control the height of the trolley. It started from 20 cm. After that, it adjusted to 30 cm, 40, 50, and 60 cm. So this is the variable controlled by the students and therefore in this case the manipulated variable is the height of the trolley from the surface and therefore the responding variable is the speed of the trolley. How about the fixed variable? The fixed variable is the variable that you must keep it unchanged in the experiment. For example, in this experiment you must use the same trolley throughout the experiment because different trolley may have different frictions. You must also use the same runway so that the friction is constant throughout the experiment. If the friction changed, the result will be different and the experiment fail. So therefore, in this case, the fixed variables are the same trolley or the same runway.